Right, we're just checking all the bikes out for a bit of a bit of a spin, keep things moving inside them. I just want to point something out about this uh, this Triumph Speedmaster. You see the bags on the back? Yeah, a few of you may have noticed that they're actually considered to be the wrong way round. Well, if you look at the way that slopes down like that, that's the way my pillion's leg goes. So when it's the high point there, her leg is like that and it hurts. The edge of the bag rubs her. So somebody on YouTube, another person, pointed out that if you turn the bags the other way around, it slopes that way and it's not quite so severe. And it actually works. So that's the answer as to why the bags are back to front. And it works. It, uh, it saves a lot of pain on her legs. So there we go. That's the answer to that one. Right, I'm not doing much of a ride just to get the bikes out, just to have a look at them, make sure everything's all right. So from this, you will get to see all the bikes. Okay. Seems all right. I do wish that I could afford to put the the actual Triumph Speedmaster screen on but it is a lot of money even just to buy it and put it on yourself the screen itself is a lot of money for what it is this one will do for now if anybody's wondering what that screen is if you look in some of my other videos I actually tell you on there right let's get this one out for a bit of a ride just a quick ride to Altrincham. Of the burbles on this bike. It does get some admiring glances this bike. Right, almost home for this one. So let's switch off and get ready for the next one. Right, number two, Rail Enfield Classic 350 to some known as the Reborn. And for anybody out there who thinks they're uh, fake, well, you know, that's fair enough. You've got your right to your own opinions. But if you're not willing to go out and have a ride on one, well, I don't know how you can really say. It's like being, being a kid and you won't eat something no matter how much people say to you it's okay, it's nice, you'll like it. As a kid you still say I'm not touching that. Well that's the same kind of thing. So if you're going to make 
comments about these bikes at least ride one you know you've got the right to your own opinion but how can you have an opinion if you've not actually rode it that's all i'm saying anyway so look at that beauty royal enfield hat i had that made i don't think it's official thing it's just a company that does them online right let's go take this one out quick look round it because that's what everybody likes them small lights or tigers eyes which somebody told me they were called very dull aren't they okay I guess my indicator works these 350s are lovely round town bikes and they've got enough that you can take them out further as well one of the issues with riding different bikes all day long is you forget where the pedals are because they're all slightly different see if we can get through or not you get a lot of people moving the signs around they think they're being funny I feel like I'm chasing myself same car I've got down past Stamford Park in Altrincham there's little buildings there, prefabs my gran used to live there for many many years we used to play in there right nostalgia trip today isn't it dun 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 dun. Hey, to anybody who's watching right now thanks for tuning in um, but can I just say, if if seeing a, a bike ride from the point of view of the guy riding the bike is not for you, there's other types st types and styles of uh, bike videos out there. So uh, maybe something else might suit you. I say that because I uh, recently had somebody made a comment. Um, and he just said uh, all I can see is your handlebars I can't see anything else question mark question mark and I, I will always respond politely to people I mean if anybody wants to have a look you can see my response to it just very politely said that if point of view videos are not for them maybe they can find something of a different style somewhere else but if you he says I can't see anything well it just happens to be the one video that's got nearly eleven and a half thousand views so I just very respectfully and politely pointed out that everybody else can see things so they obviously didn't watch it for very long did they Yeah, I mean, if it's, if it's not for you watching from the point of view of the rider, 
where to be quite honest unless they get off the bike all you're gonna see is the handlebars headlight mirrors and maybe a bit of the tank but uh there you go Be able to book this bike in for its uh, first service soon. We're almost at 400 miles. Okay. Send that one here. Get ready for the next one now we've got the keyway k-light 125 the chinese bike this is a friend's learning bike just keeping it running for them as you can see the weather's changing getting a bit wet for us but hey we can still go out can't we it's a very nice bike for a learner some people think it's a bit overbalanced at the front but I think it's just a matter of getting used to what you've got Rain stopped to think. Let's go. Going from the bigger bikes to the one two five, it feels very low on power. It's nothing against the bike, for a 125 it's a very good bike. If I ride this one first thing in the morning, then I hardly notice it, but I have been riding the other bikes before this, so. You know, even when you've got your full license and you ride the bigger bikes, it's uh, it's nice to just have a poodle around town on something like this. Okay, ready for the return trip on this one. Hasn't been saying all the way through, it's just to keep the bikes running. I've not been able to get out for a week, so just give them all a quick once round the area. And hopefully that'll be enough for now. God, some people smoke so much wacky backy you can you can smell it all over them. Oh 
man, it's all over the place. Okay, nice church. And this is the final one for the day. The Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. This is my own. I've taken the twin pipes off. I put two into one with a Stinger exhaust system from a company called Tech. I've had a pillion seat when a rack put on. I've put this, is the larger of the two fly screens. I've put that on. It's like I've been hit by two stones there. I put the Royal Enfield guide on there. And the uh, bash plate on the bottom. Other than that, is as it came.
Okay, let's take this one home as well. Get them all put away. Hope you enjoyed that guys, if you did please like, subscribe and bring the notification bell. See you on the next one, bye for now.